C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. <laughs> My name is Eros88 and today, as you can see, we are reaching a planet. This is the first time that we are arriving to New Atlantis. Uh, last episode, we actually uh, destroyed uh, a crew of pirates of the Crimson Fleet. Uh, we were like being tailed and we needed to get rid of them in order to be able to travel uh, safely. And so we reached uh, uh, an investigation laboratory uh, in which the pirates had made a little bit of a base and they were like ransacking the place. So we got rid of them, to say the least, and um, we actually could travel again. <laughs> so now we're here. Let's see... I think we should go like here. And we need to get into New Atlantis. So I think... I just mark it like this. And that's it. During the colony war, UC Admiral Francois Sanon ordered the bombing of Londinian to halt the city's terror morph outbreak. Oh, so there are more terror morphs here as well? Not the... the own, uh, I thought the one that we encountered on the lab was the one. So it's a species. Oh man, that's going to be interesting to say the least. Oh, this is so nice. I don't know if actually I can take my helmet off. Let's just... And I think I actually gave uh, my robot another apparel. Where is he? Maybe he's down. Yeah, here he is. Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. Oh, uh, I also haven't heard these conversations with him. So let's just... I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually <laughs> after escaping from certain death and often with an object multiple people wanted. Yeah, it makes sense. So just who are you in Barrett? What's Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership oh, is intentionally nice. limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. The 10th? What? Just 10 people? So why is Barrett trusting me with his ship? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, <laughs> you have known each other forever. But yeah, the right. practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known <laughs> people who have been affected by the artifacts is now... Two, without your so, investment in just another one. mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing oh, you. Oh, th that's Barrett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. Your support. So that's Barrett and me, the ones that have that have like interacted with the artifacts. So I let's trade. Items safe, Captain. And give me 
the apparels and I want I want this one actually just because it looks nice Uh, so yeah, let's go now to our apparel. Let's give him this and this and let's equip this one. So now we look quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> the white poncho. Alright, so hey, now what? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. And here's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. My ship needs some repairs. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Where did you say I could sell things? Where can I go if I need more crew for my ship? Okay. Sure, how about it? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we have the lasers, uh, the ballistics, the missiles, the engine, the shield, and the gravity drive. Interesting. It looks so nice. Shipbuilder allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. The floor gauge to the right tells you where new modules will appear when the floor gauge is at zero. For example, new modules will be placed in the center mass of the ship. Building new ship modules will cost credits and deleting them will give you credits back. The shipbuilder will keep a running total and process the entire transaction at the end. There is a flight check that will give you warnings or errors if your design is invalid for any reason. All right. Okay, so I am not going to invest much time here. I think I will do that on my own in between episodes, just so not to bore you. So I, if in the next episode you see changes on my ship, you know what happened. Let me see what ships you have for I'm sale. Sure you can find something you like. Oh, let's see. I have 7,694 credits. The ship is 72,000. 72, <laughs> Rambler. Oh, the Galileo looks nice. Sparrow. Achilles. Oh, this one I like. The Econo Hall. Econo Hall. <laughs> Gladius. Uh, the responder and the shield breaker. Oof. This one looks nice as well. Okay. So I can buy ships as well. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. Jemison That's Mercantile. Past the security checkpoint. Okay. Where can I go if I need more crew for my ship? I would try the viewport. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. All right. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Intake look a bit clogged. We'll get those cleaned out. This thing has seen better days, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it has. Yeah, it has. Thanks so much either way. Now I can actually take a proper look at the ship. 
I didn't last time. Looks amazing with the size perspective. Storage 4. I don't suppose I can go in, right? Yeah, no, it has a secure access. Watch for the engine blast, will ya? They'll pull you right over. <laughs> Okay, and just for the looks of the outside of this place, it looks amazing. It looks like the city is an amazing place to be. It looks huge. And if what Bethesda said that everything you see you can be in, it's true. Oh my god, we are going to spend months here. Like, months for real. So this is the Trade Authority kiosk. Huh. Uh, the vendor credits are 5,000. And I can only buy? Or are these mines? Oh, I see, I see. I can change from buying, which is this one. This is what the, ven the vending machine is offering. I can buy all of this. Or I can sell this. Okay. So here is where I'm going to ask you, my guy. The lodge is here in the city. There is room in my storage hold for further items. So let's grab. Yeah, basically, I will grab everything since we are now in the city. on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. Well, that's sad. Uh, that's you, uh, very, very sad. Oh my God, look at this place. Finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Investigate brownouts in the well. No, already having side quests. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. All right. Thank you, sir. Look at this place. Oh my god. I need to take a photograph of this. Nice. Looks amazing, man. I do want to know where can I sell my stuff. <laughs> the missing mercantile, I guess this is it. Yeah, maybe. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Well, she's so nice. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Oh, please, take a look. All right. So this is buying. 
Uh, okay, some ammo. Maybe I'll start buying some ammo as well. I just have to get familiarized with my weapons because, yeah. Some materials. Oh, she sells also books and stuff. Ammo, spacesuits. Ooh. Uh, you know what? Let me equip the ones that I have. Appreciate the business. Yeah, so far I will stick with this one, I think. I mean... And then the backpack. Yeah, I will stick with the one that I have already. And the helmet. I'll go with this one. This one looks amazing, but yeah. The fact that it has a lot of mass and less airborne doesn't help. So now with the equipped... Uh, oh, no, nope. sorry about that. I'm so sorry I pressed the wrong want, button. Feel free to ask. <laughs> oh, please, take a look. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see the spacesuits, right? Huh. A lot of energy in thermal and corrosive, but uh, this one looks nice. But none of them actually help with the airborne nor the physics. So, yeah. Oh, this one maybe. Thermal, more thermal. Yeah, I guess I'll stick with the one that I have. It's also loot, so... Huh, interesting. This one could be, actually... This one could be, could be a nice... Well, I mean, I lost... I will lose uh, 20 radiation. But I will gain corrosive. Also, it's heavier. This one's lighter, and I will gain corrosive and thermal, but we'll lose airborne radiation and physics. Hmm. Ooh, the space helmets look nice. Well, you know, right now it's actually not helping that much. <laughs> so maybe I'll just wait and sell what I have right now. Wait, why do I have... Why do I have a hat? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the one that's, that she's selling. Sh sorry. <laughs> mm, this one's nice. But yeah, so far I think I will stay with the punch as well. Aid, maybe I will buy some... Med packs. Yeah, buy all. No worries about that. And of course, all of the food is kind of not needed unless I learn the other way. 
And let's sell, let's sell first the weapons because that's where m the most money is. And yeah, why is she paying so low? It said that each one was like a thousand costs. What? Oh, I forgot the money uh, transactions here. Okay, well, I, at least I will clear my inventory, right? Uh, confirm. Yeah, we'll just keep one of each. And the other ones I will start uh, collecting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Almo. Well, the weapons... Yeah, I will have to use that. Also, the spacesuits are so... Wow. Pirate Assault spacesuit. Hmm. I will sell this one. The packs. To be honest, these are not that bad. I will sell one of these and I will keep the other. And also I'll sell one of these. These are not so useful, I think. The lab outfit. Maybe this one I will keep. This one definitely, but I can sell one. Uh, I will keep this one as well. Yeah, this one's not so useful. Neither does this one. Urban operator outfit. Yeah. Okay. Throw balls. Uh, I will sell these ones. And I will keep these ones. And on aid, I will keep all the treatments. Maybe the steroids I will... I don't know if these create like uh, addictions like in uh, Fallout 4. So I will have to check that out, but uh, in the meantime, I'm, I will just sell them. I don't think I will use them. These ones I will keep because of the treatment stuff that I was talking about in, I think, last episode. Uh, these ones I can, I can sell. Um, yeah. Cheese, chunks, apple. Damage resistance, uh, yeah, I could use this. Oh, I yeah, I messed that up. Well, no problem. This one I will keep, treatment. Yeah, the med packs.
Please, take a look. Okay, so I think that's it. Thanks for coming in. And then Captain, Constellation will be I will happily carry whatever you need. We can give him uh like all of our stuff. I will give him the Eon because I'm not so used to it. The Equinox, the Grendel I will also, Maelstrom I will keep, oh, I will keep the modified Maelstrom, Tactical Creep and Tactical Magazine, and Reflexite. Yeah, no, I will give him this one, and I will keep this one. The Rattler, I will keep as well. The Coachman, and give this, 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 and this. So these are going to be my weapons from now on. Well, until I find some extra stuff. I will... Definitely, <sighs> yeah, trade this one and this one. And let's keep this one. And with the packs, I will, I will, I will. What do I want to do? Yeah, I will keep this one and trade this one. The helmets. Yeah, I will trade this one. The apparels. You can have all of this. And okay. Now we can actually. Selling art is a bit of an art itself, you know. <laughs> The lodge is here in the city. Uh, I can put in order my stuff. So, for example, here I can favorite this one. Then the Maelstrom. And then the Rattler. Here. Now, this one can go here. This one up here. And yeah, I think that's it. And now I can check what's the ammo that I can buy. From now, for, for now at least. Uh, 6.5 ammo. Modified Rattler uses 0.27 caliber and caseless shell for shotgun. 6.5 ammo and the other one. Hope you're finding everything you need. Oh, please, take a look. Mm, so let's see, ammo. 27 caliber. I can buy this, yeah. Whoa. Not so much now, then I will have the 6.5 first. Uh, I miss the the one like function on this, on Fallout 4 where you could like just go very quickly to the <laughs> very end. Okay, so I will buy this ones. A hundred. Wow, these are expensive. I forget that I'm still beginning Mercantile. the game. 
Oh, look at this. This looks nice. Quite nice, actually. What is this? Orders, supplies. Yeah, okay. To brew coffee. I've attempted an analysis several times. I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to caffeine. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Oh, are we going to take a train? Of course we're going to take a train. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so excited about this. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. All right. Mast District, okay, yeah. Also, I haven't said anything about this, but the music, the soundtrack of the game, it's so, so good. I've been enjoying the, the music of this game so much. Wow. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so yeah, it is. has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Look at this place. Wow. The art design in this game, it's just amazing, dude. I could just keep looking at this place like forever. <laughs> we may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity. It always has been. This place is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this view. Wow. Here we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Okay. Well, I actually think this is a good place for us to end the episode. Because uh, it's been actually uh, a little bit long. It's at least half an hour. So, yeah, we are now in New Atlantis. We are about to meet the members of Constellation. Oh man, this, this game, it's just amazing. It's definitely some of the best of the of, of Bethesda and probably if I keep playing and the experience keeps just getting better and better so far I mean it could easily take first place right but yeah uh, I guess that's going to be it for today's episode guys I really hope you are enjoying and if you are please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next episode see ya